Assalamualaikum and hi, I'm Haniza binti Poli, nombor matrik CN190030. Hi, Assalamualaikum, my name is Saiful Akmal bin Syamsuddin, my matrik numbers 190192. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nur Nabilah binti Muhammad Sahimi, my matrik number is CN190146. Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Kirul Ambi bin Muhammad Azwar, my matrik number is CN. My name is Nuru Nabi Halana, nombor matrik CN190225. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Syakir bin Muhammad bin Zanuddin, CN190185 and I'm going to present about solution and methodology of air pollution. study there are some problem statement that we have found out dangerous gases caused by combustion of fossil fuels and oil emitted by vehicles and industry is one of the main cause for air pollution in Malaysia problem statement number two is the occurrence of haze in Malaysia that has changes the environment is believed to be caused by the neighboring country or from local sources as we all know the open burning in Indonesia will cause the very serious haze and also interference with the health problem of the pollution in Malaysia And lastly, open burning in traditional agriculture process is another activity that contributes towards air pollution in Malaysia. The overall aim of this research is to determine the sources and causes of air pollution. Pollution enters the atmosphere in a variety of forms. Some of air pollution is caused by humans taking the form of waste from factories, agriculture, and vehicles. The second aim of this review is to identify the main possible health effect of air pollution. Exposure to high of air pollution can lead to a number of adverse health effects. Effect can be broken down into short-term effect and long-term effect. Considering the serious of air pollution in Malaysia, this review is attempt to obtain the strategies and preventive measures to reduce air pollution. Air pollution is the most significant source of environmental pollution. The study of air quality is therefore quite necessary. In order to protect the atmosphere, air pollution control is important. We all have to think about the seriousness of air pollution and struggle to control it. The study of air pollution helps to understand the effect and the sources so we can take the prevention method easily. We use information to make wise decisions on meaningful ways to prevent and minimize air pollution. Based on the DOE report, measures overall air quality status is at decent to moderate levels most of the time. In Malaysia, the value of the air quality index is commonly affected by the concentration of suspended particulate matter. Malaysian from the Klang Valley areas were targeted subjects in this study because they are expected to be most impacted by air pollution from vehicular and industrial pollutants. Chapter 2 Literature Review What is air pollution? Air pollution can be defined as an alteration of air quality that can be characterized by measurement of chemical, biological or physical pollutants in the air. Air pollution means the undesirable presence of impurities or the abnormal rise in the proportion of some constituent of atmosphere. There are four factors that may happen air pollution. First, combustion of fossil fuel, coal and oil for electricity and road transport producing air pollutants like nitrogen and sulfur dioxide. Second, waste production mostly because of a methane generation in landfills. Third, agriculture activities due to the use of pesticide, insecticide and fertilizers 
that emit harmful chemicals. Third, emission from industries and factories, releasing large amount of carbon monoxide, hydrocarbon, chemical and organic compound into the air. All the factors make bad happen to the air pollution in the world. Okay, next, air pollution problems. A pollution problem can separate into two effects. First is environmental effects. Second, health effect. I will present about environmental effect first. Air pollution can cause acid rain. It is precipitation containing harmful amount of nitric and sulfuric acid. This acid are formed primarily by nitrogen oxide and sulfur oxide released into the atmosphere when fossil fuel are burned. Acid rain also can damage tree and cause soil and water bodies to acidify. Okay, next, air pollution can cause haze. Haze is transboundary pollution when it's crossing into another country space. Domestic factors such as activity industry, motor vehicles, and open burning contributed to the worsening haze. Haze posing a health hazard to human, mainly the respiratory and cardiovascular illness, as well as skin allergy. Okay, next, air pollution also can cause global warming. The earth atmosphere appears to the trapping more of the sun's heat, causing the earth's average temperature to rise. Human produce temperature increase are uh, commonly re referred to as a global warming. Some areas actually become colder in the short term due to the high temperature. Okay, there's all the problem can happen because of the air pollution for the environment. Okay, next we go to the health effect. Air pollution can harm us when it accumulates in the air in high enough concentration. Millions of Malaysian live in area where urban smokes, particle pollution, and toxic pollutants pose serious health concerns. Long-term exposure to air pollution can cause cancer and damage respiratory system. People exposed to high enough level of certain air pollution may experience first irritation of the eyes, nose, and throats, wheezing, coughing, and chest tightness and breathing difficulties, worsening of existing lung and heart problem such as asthma. Lastly, increased risk of a heart attack is a very serious problem because of the air pollution. Design concept. Vehicle con design concept. Vehicle in Malaysia is divided by many categories including motor, car, buses, lorry and motorcycle. While usually use diesel, petrol or gas for, fuel, uh, for the fuel. These gases are the main reason of the air pollution. When the fuel was heated and combustion occurred, only 60% are used for the vehicle operation, friction and coolant. The remaining 40% are the exhaust gas and heat content carbon gases that pollute the air surrounding. Factory design concept. Most manufacturing industry or heavy industry that contribute to air pollution are those that emit smoke and gases. Sulfur oxide, a chemical compound with the formula SO2, is produced by industrial processes. The smoke from factory chimney consists of many gases and small particles has made the people nearby to feel uneasy and even can cause liquid acid rain. This uncollected, uncollected industrial waste will bring pollution to the river and air, thus bring disease to the human and animal. Daily life concept Daily life of human in this era has to be including cooking, cleaning, studying, working and playing. This particular daily life activity to contribute in air pollution such as uh, cooking, smoking, and burning trash waste. This air pollution consisted gases and small particles or dust that can bring disease to human and animal. Witness uh, human spike in air pollution and long-term exposure to the high concentration of air pollutant affect human health. Pollution related in illness including lung cancer, cardiovascular disease. Air pollution has additional health impact on fertility, pregnancy, birth weight, and newborn and children. On agriculture, 
High concentration of ground ozone also lead to the negative impact on crop yield as well as plant in general. Wheat and all seed are more affected than the other crop in high losses in several countries. As a strong, strong oxidant, ozone is toxic to plant and causes several types of symptoms including marking on the foliage reduce and grown and yield for, in, for environment. Air pollution lead to the uh, to reduce in visibility smoke, acidic and nitrogen compound in the air can deposit onto land and water, degrading the water quality and affecting ecosystem. High nitrogen deposition is now recognized as a major threat to biodiversity and overall ecosystem health. For economy, the biophysical impact of uh, pollution, air pollution entail large economic costs. The health impact of air pollution lead to increased health expenditure as well as labor productivity losses. Reduced agriculture output can also cause economic losses. Reduced vis visibility and damage to building and culture, cultural heritage can enhance economic costs due. Government action to burning the waste of crops should be taken to reduce the burning become uncontrollable and dangerous. There are many weaknesses in the regulation set by the government. There are no awareness among the people in de dealing with the problem of air pollution. The industrial sector consider all standards by the government to be fraudulent and increasing costs. Method Source correction method Substitu Substitution of raw material with another purer grade raw material that decrease the formation of pollutant. Modification of process by monitor pollution at the source, the current procedure can be updated. Improvement in current equipment by making necessary change so air emission can be substantially minimized. Equipment maintenance by daily inspection for emission of pollutant can be reduced. Facilities for emission control by avoiding release of contaminant pollution control at the source is often not possible. Zoning operation. Zoning recommend that different sector be sector be set aside for business so that they are far from the residential area. It is not appropriate to put heavy industry too close to another. As far as possible, new industry should build away from larger city. Regional planning should direct to the location decision of the large industry. Pollution diffusion in the air. The dilution of atmosphere the dilution of atmospheric pollutant is another solution to air pollutant control. Is only a small amount of the contaminant are emitted, then pollution easily disappears into the atmosphere. By use of tall stack dilution of the contaminant in the atmosphere may be done by substantial reducing ground level emission, plant or veg vegetation. By making use of carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen in the air, in the photosynthesis process plan contribute to control air pollution. This purify the environment for the respiration of men and animal. Several trees should be planted around those regions which are declared to high risk area of pollution. Okay, let's talk about the solution in inducing air pollution. The easiest way will be by using renewable energy. This clean production energy such as solar energy, wind energy, and hydro energy can reduce air pollution. The next solution will be eco-transportation. As we know, the biggest contribution, contribution in air pollution is the gas emission by the vehicle. So the best way will be by eco-transportation such as using public transportation that use electrical energy. Okay, the next one will be uh, by agriculture control. This agriculture control uh, can be used by the government to take uh, to have a strict law about the agriculture control to reduce in open fire of deforest deforestation. Okay, the next one will be the green building. This green building technology is the biggest future impact and can reduce air pollution. Our methodology for this project is by data mining. 
as we go through books, articles, news and so on, we found out that air pollution is one of the biggest threat in killing humans silently. Air pollution severely taking victim of younger age and children due to their weakened immune system than adults. Furthermore, we found out in official portal of Department of Environmental Malaysia, DOE, stated in 2017, 70.4% air pollution is due to the gas emission by vehicles, 24.5% from power plants, 2.9% from industrial and others from human activities. As we go too deep into this topic, we can say all around the world, the main idea in taking in taking action in inducing air pollution is by using renewable energy. That is because renewable energy have a clean production. I will present for the chapter 4 that is discussion and observation. For the discussion is the first is in Malaysia air pollution is becoming a major environmental problems. Air pollution can be described as an air quality change by measurement of chemical, biological or physical contaminants in the air. So that currently air pollution uses chemicals, particles and biological materials. Human and environmental factors are you among the other sources of air pollution. Decrease the impact of air pollution in Malaysia by reduce the use of automobiles that lead the expansion of fuel that involve the burning of the coal and oil. Dealing with the health issue, the action plan that needs to be made is to plan systematic cultivation and develop regional relationship ASEAN. For the observation is the first is the general effect of air pollution on the atmosphere, global warming and human health triple. The second is it also leads to the production of acid ice, rain, ice, snow or fog in the form of atmospheric precipitation emitted during the combustion of fossil fuel. Climate change and global warming causes of greenhouse gas emission is the amount of carbon dioxide in the air. The excessive accumulation of greenhouse gases is a recent source of climate change. So the lastly is the deterri the deterioration is of human health is responsible for our continued exposure to air pollution which is causes asthma, respiratory and cardiovascular disorder as well as lung damage that drives factor for human health. Assalamualaikum, I will present my part which is conclusion. Firstly, air pollution is injurious to physical and mental health. Secondly, soil acidity is increased, crop are stunned by growth, and farm animals suffer health problems. Thirdly, diesel automatic emission constant carbon monoxide and dust with non carcinogenic anti properties. They are known to cause childhood brain damage. Next, the health of public, especially those who are the most vulnerable, such as children, the elderly, and the apes, are the risk of air pollution, but it's difficult to tell how high the risk is. Apart from that, if of the long-term exposure to lower concentration of air pollution can be more harmful to public health than exposure to high concentration in the short term. Next, air pollution action is that people do not recognize the contribution that air pollutant exposure can make to death from, for instance, heart disease. In addition, the risk to health from air pollution is much lower at an individual level that posed by active cigarette smoking or injuries. Next, the influence of air pollution on structure plant and animal can be measured, but only epidemiological can quantify the health effect on humans. After that, the high effect of smoking and other aspects and exposure of the lifestyle contradict observation of the effect of air pollution. Lastly, ethical consideration prohibiting toxic exposure of human subject to pollutant concentration that could cause harmful effect. So, it's particularly difficult to collect data from sources other than epidemiology. That's all from me. Thank you.